Darth Vader is one of the key and most recognisable characters in the saga. Few can boast such a huge number of appearances in games, movies, books and comics in the universe. It is the most powerful and memorable Star Wars character. Anticipation The ability to predict the future comes only to the most powerful Sith and Jedi, which includes Darth Vader. He is able to see events that have not yet occurred, and to see the thoughts behind actions that have not yet been taken. Vader often uses this ability in practical ways, such as predicting his opponent's next move during battle, or predicting where a shot will be fired from. Power Shield If Vader puts forth the effort, he can develop the force field he creates into a full blue force shield of pure force energy, covering not only himself, but those around him as well. This shield can withstand a shot from almost any weapon. This ability requires complete concentration, and if anyone interrupts him while he is creating the shield, Vader will lose control of it, and the shield will be destroyed. Energy Absorption Vader has the ability to absorb different types of energy and channel them through himself, releasing them in the form of lightning bolts. We mentioned earlier that he can do this with force energy, but it's important to note that he can do this with any other kind of energy as well. That being said, Vader uses this ability quite rarely. The thing is that it physically exhausts him, and he is not capable of repeating it several times in a short period of time. It is also not revealed whether Vader is able to absorb energy from his lightsaber, for example. Super jumps. Similar to the previous point with his combined abilities, Darth Vader is able to jump greater distances than normal humans. In addition, thanks to his metal prosthetics, he has no problem landing from great heights as he is unable to break his legs or arms. Super speed and super agility. Thanks to the aforementioned abilities, anger control, telekinesis and levitation, Darth Vader can perform various feints during combat, jumping over enemies, sneaking up from behind and using his powers. Thanks to the dark side of the Force, he can use all of these abilities combined to win in battle. This has been underrepresented in the movies, but in the comics, these abilities are given plenty of attention. With proper concentration, Vader is able to use the Force to literally slow down the passage of time to perform an action. To the rest of us, it looks like he's moving at breakneck speed. Accelerated regeneration. A common ability of many superheroes and supervillains, allowing them to heal from even the most serious injuries. Jedi and Sith are also able to regenerate, using the Force to speed up all the processes in the body so that wounds heal faster. The ability to reduce the amount of oxygen consumed. One very important thing that many people forget is that Vader can last longer than normal humans without oxygen. By using the Force, Vader reduces the amount of oxygen he needs to survive, and so he can survive for extended periods of time on a few gulps of air that he received in advance, and spread out evenly over a period of time. Of course, this does not allow him to breathe once and spend several days in outer space, but it saves him in times of emergency when there are no other options. Plus, Vader's suit has a special device that provides him with oxygen if he's in an unsuitable atmosphere, invisibility. This ability is also known as the Force Cloak. Vader can use the Force to create waves of light around him which camouflage him and hide him from the eyes of others. He rarely uses this ability because it has no effect on those who also wield the Force and is easily removed by them to restore visibility. In the new Star Wars canon, Vader does not have this ability. Animal Control In the Star Wars universe there are thousands of species of intelligent life but there are also many lower forms that have not yet developed to the level of civilization or have stopped altogether and are considered animals that inhabit certain worlds. The Force allows control over such life forms whose behavior is motivated by primitive instincts. Darth Vader in the comics has repeatedly used the Force to subdue animals and use them for his own purposes. Levitation If you think back to Yoda teaching Luke Skywalker how to wield the Force, you remember the episode where he lifts his ship from the bottom of the swamp using telekinesis? This begs the question, if the Jedi, and Sith for that matter, can lift such large objects with telekinesis, what prevents them from lifting themselves into the air and floating? Darth Vader is just able to do this by concentrating on the flows of the Force and directing them in the right direction. Combined with the lightning bolts, it would look menacing. Skillful wielding of a lightsaber 
Every Jedi and Sith can wield a lightsaber, although there are other variations such as Darth Maul's famous double lightsaber. For example, Darth Vader can use telekinesis to boomerang his lightsaber in battle and use the Force to draw it back without hitting himself. Telekinesis. Do you remember when Vader killed one of the Death Squadron Admirals, Firmus Piet? He strangled him using telekinesis. In doing so, Vader physically repeated the action he was doing telekinetically. So the Force gives him telekinesis abilities, but they require him to channel them by physically duplicating the action. Lightning Force. Remember when Darth Sidious killed Mace Windu with lightning bolts? Vader has this ability as well, as all Sith are able to act as conduits for energy, translating it directly from the Force and literally releasing it from themselves. I wonder if in doing so, Darth Vader is able to energize a de-energized droid or a ship's engine. It's unclear. Also, as we remember from the third movie, Darth Sidious was seriously injured using these abilities. But nothing like that happens to Vader. Perhaps it's because he's already maimed, or because he releases the energy through his metal hands, which take the negative effects on themselves. Anger control. Thanks to the dark side of the Force, Vader can focus his anger to enhance his abilities. Thus, he can increase his speed, strength, or reactions if he is angry enough. That said, Vader is not the Hulk. He cannot use his anger indefinitely. If he uses it for an extended period of time, it affects his health and he has to stop. Force Field The Force is a special energy field created by all living beings and is subject to the control of Jedi and Sith. For all species of sentient beings, the potential of the Force is determined by the amount of midi-chlorians in the blood. The Force gives Jedi and Sith abilities beyond human capabilities. For example, Vader can create force fields that are impervious to living beings, bullets, and energy beams from energy weapons. Vader's power is so high that he is able to sense and manipulate it around him, creating protective fields and waves of force that will sweep his opponents off their feet and knock projectiles back. The higher his concentration, the stronger the wave emitted by the force will be.